In what sense were the Reconstruction Amendments a great constitutional revolution for America? How did they change the role of the national government? The Reconstruction Amendments to the U.S. Constitution, the 13th, 14th, and 15th, were really wrought a radical change in the Constitution. These are the most important changes in the Constitution since the adoption of the Bill of Rights 70 years before that. Um, what they did, first of all, of course, was to abolish slavery, but more than that, to shift power in the federal system away from the states and toward the national government. The national government now becomes the definer and the protector of citizens' rights. The 14th Amendment declares that anybody born in the United States is a citizen, that all citizens, regardless of race, are to enjoy the same basic rights, and that no state can deprive a citizen of those rights. And it empowers the federal government to override and oversee the actions of states that might interfere with the privileges and immunities of American citizens. So instead of the federal government being seen as it was before the Civil War as a danger to liberty, now a strong federal government is seen as the protector of liberty or the custodian of freedom, as Charles Sumner, the senator from Massachusetts, put it. So this represents a shift in power between states and the national government and also a shift in the conception of what the role of the federal government is. For the first time, the federal government takes on the role of protecting the basic rights of American citizens.